Uh, so spiders. Oh, the mist is gone. Here we are. To think we are so close. Jump. Beneath our very feet lie the endless paths I... built by Ard Nua, the great Anguithan king. Well, up here, this is all a deering, of course. But should we descend far enough, we will find some real history. To uncover that great king's tomb would be a dream. But it is one of his servants I am after. Hmm. Gabranos, a powerful mage and a dedicated scholar, a keeper of lore, just as I mean to be. He was in possession of the Tanvi Oratoa, or whatever form of it preceded the one we know. I've seen it in ruins, alongside Gabranos' <laughs> name. Scraps of the same symbols and verses we know in Rautai. He must have held the words in high regard. Or perhaps he was even the author. You sound very impressed by this, Gabranos. They say he held power over the elements, kind of coughs. But I'm more interested in his writing. He was a prolific author. I haven't been able to translate everything, but I've been enough to know that he traveled far and wide. If only we could have met him. What wisdom he could share. But we can follow his example and strive to learn from those around us. Improve upon it. Why does this book matter so much? Rawatai faces troubled times. Once we were a unified people, but that's changing. And the Tanvi Orotoha is at the heart of that. There are those who say that we haven't held to its instruction. That we've allowed ourselves to grow weak and polluted our traditions by welcoming foreigners rather than laying claim to the lands around us. That we must hold to these traditions if we are to make our ourselves a nation to be feared. My brothers would have it so, but we don't need to isolate ourselves to make Rawatai great. I know there's more to the chant. It wasn't created out of sand and water a thousand years ago, but brought to Rawatai by the Inguithans. By people that knew the value of alliances and shared their knowledge with us. And with that knowledge, we made Rawatai what it is today. If we can find the original, I can prove it. They'll know that the chant is far older than we believed, that the Inguithans favored peace and the trade of knowledge. If we follow in their footsteps, we could make a kingdom just as grand and lasting as theirs. Um. But the Inguithans are all gone. Sure. And a lofty one, I know, kind of grins. I'm glad you feel the same. I feel it's the better course for Rawatai. We're a people of many races and we've always stood together. I feel we are destined for greatness. Let's start looking then. If my sources are correct, Gabranos will have brought the text with him. It will probably be within a library. Or a tomb, perhaps. It tends to be one of the two. Okay. Let's be off. Um, but we're not going to do that right now because we got spiders to kill. Nice and slow. This was, was it back here that I saw the big baba spider? It was, or was it, is this the same area? Sort of forget. Oh. Yeah, let's not do that yet. Let's just go with blinding. Love to blind. Hi. Hi. You love hey. it. Hey, I love him. It's just both members there. It's so How funny. Now, <laughs> uh, if you could attack Speedo. Ow, not cool. Um, Following your lead. he has this now, which is nice. Let's go. Right. Let's go. Why is the stag beetle taking so long to kill? Oh, stuff to loot that I missed the first time. Take. Uh, 
Potion of Fleet Feet. Like it, like it. Okay. Um, big spiders in there. And then there are looters over this way. Let's see what happens. Why does... Oh, they didn't finish eating their stuff. Got it. Yes. Can you go like here? Hmm? And I want you to blame some people. See what happens. I don't know, honestly, what's going to happen. Um, let's do that. And then let's charge down you. And then let's get over here and maybe you. Did he get interrupted? He did. And he just hurt my guy a lot, and now he's gonna die. I have to see. Yeah. Um, okay. What? Ah, shoot. I don't think this is going to work. I think I activated his skill. This skill? Yeah, I did. Um, struggle, bless. What are you doing? Hmm? I don't have to. Fuck my life, dude. Hmm? I also don't really know what this does. It's like, I think it frightened, but like, that doesn't do a whole lot. Can't do that right now. Um. He's down. God, I hate combat sometimes. It's ready, phantom or skeletons? Skeletons. Where do I, what am I clicking on? Or. Cool, can they help fight now? Um, actually, I want you to go fight this guy. Um. Hmm. Yes. Hmm? To get his head up. It's fine. We got this. <laughs> It'll be fine. I'm glad that the skeletons stay up. God, I suck at this game. What? Huh? Oh, what is the casting time on this? Is there a casting time? Interrupt 0.5 seconds. Uh, you too. Wait. 
What? I'll let Margaret's fire bless me. Oh, this skeleton died. This one. <laughs> Everyone get back up, please. Okay. Ouch, Durant saved the day. Yeah. I think it was more the skeletons that did so. Hey, J Hinge, thank you so much for the prime sub. Welcome back to the Pusheen Army for three months. Sure. I really appreciate it. Okay. Well, prom it up. Woo! <laughs> I don't. Am I ready to face a spider with him solo? Wrenched knee, concussion, sprained wrist. I mean, I could always cheese it and just go back to Bright Hollow and rest, but I kind of don't want to do that. I left. Thing. I left a shit ton of money. Sure. Let's save. The spider fight could go really badly. I'll get it open. Yes. Finished. Not like it's not somewhere I haven't been, but you know. Hmm? That really giant spider time. Okay. Hey. Hey. Everybody, stop talking. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna lurk now and play this game. Good luck for the watcher. All right, have a good one, Marina. Thanks. Have fun with your your run through. Um. Okay. So let's. I'm gonna eat this. Following your lead. Hi. Hi. Do this. I have to be in combat to use potions. Got it. Yes. I want you to kind of go this way. And everyone else kind of move forward. Hey. Did you eat your stew or not? What? Word. Oh, is he not eating stew because he has the other thing? Okay. I understand, uh, but I'm not happy about it. Yes. <sighs> hmm. Following your lead. No, let's go over here. Why am I doing nothing? Fuck. I... I 
paralyzing and causing it. Let's do this. Try. Mm. Using the damage reduction, is that even. Let's do this. Why not? Okay. Um. Dazed? That's good. Can huh? you please, like, do a fire thing? You're all the way up there. That is not what I wanted. Mm. Fuck. Uh, Immune? To which? I? Good as time and end, is any? Yeah. I have only five. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Hey. What? Jaren's zone of divine favor. Oh, uh, it's. Can't do this right now. Following your lead. Can't do that yet. Okay. Good job. Good job, Aloth. That's a reason why I love you. Um. Okay. Let's do that. Let's me do a thing. I'm trying to keep it as far away as possible for as long as I can. Oh yes, let's try Phantom this time. Oh god, it's huge! Kill it. I love Thunny. Come back. You three, go get him. Uh, you're not do anything. Okay, and now you can attack. Come back there, maybe? Adult, please? Hey! I did it! And it wasn't that bad. Well, I guess my race. Dude, I'm heckin' happy. I'm heckin' happy with how that went. How do I pronounce this word? Oh, correct. <laughs> what is this even? A unique stiletto. Right. I don't know why there was a stiletto inside of a um spider, but all right. White flame and sound. How do I? Hey, I can have a tiny spider pet, because that's what everybody wants, right? A spider pet. Uh, instead of a very cool black dragon. Dragon wormling. Or a space pig. Is this gold? 20 gold duke is worth 12 copper? Fascinating. Can I go this way? I think what's up here? Oh. Whoa. Oh, I didn't think I could step on this for some reason. This leads up? Will I find like a shortcut? Where am I going? Oh! It is indeed a shortcut. Okay, that is good to know. Um, and it is on the south end. I have 1200. Warden's Lodge. Bright Hollow Hearth. Bright Hollow Lab. 
Ooh. Find hollow courtyard pool. What does that even do? And how do I build a main keep? Or is that only when I go and face the the terror? Or the master below? Oh no, it's just not enough money. I could save up too, but let's... I don't know. Let's just do one of the cheaper ones, maybe. Let's do the lab first. And then let's leave. Because I'm done with... <laughs> with Cade Noir for now. So I have to head to the plains and then to like one of the bridges. Let's try. Let's try it. Try a new place. See how many more forest trolls there are to fight. Steady does it. Logelius, an effector, lord, jongler, catalyst. These are probably, yeah, backer um, huh? monuments. And lady? Oh, no, wait. Oh, did not even see that. I guess that's why they call him a forest liquor. Hmm? Yes. Hey. Hmm. Following your lead. Oh, he's large and in charge. <laughs> oh dear. No. Hmm. Oh, he's not dead, so that's not a race. Cool, and now Wraith Honey, can you please attack him? Badly injured, good. Hmm? Okay, that wasn't terrible. What do I get? Awakened wood. This regular chunk of wood seems to hold trees of life within it. Okay. Sure. Nothing else over here. All right. I'm lots to see, lots to do. It's not what I meant to do. Love to discover maps. Oh. Um, there's another one, so let's just go around it. I don't know why I'm always in forests at night. Yes, I will take that indeed. Let's see if we can kind of go around a little bit, explore a little bit more. A primordial and a forest troll. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. Sneak around then this way. Dude, I wonder if, because I'm always in forests at night, I'm kind of wondering if the enemies won't be here during the day. Oh, that scared me. <sighs> oh, okay. Yes? Hey. Following your lead. Hmm? <laughs> 
Oh right, because it How may I help? It gets um Hey. What? Following your lead. It's confused. That's why. Hey. Can you please attack her? Huh? Yes. Thank you. Hmm? Lion hide, I'll take it. I didn't think there were lions here. Be discreet. Anything over here? No? There has to be something over here. Come on. Watch it be just like a crazy enemy that I have to fight. It's not putting a lot further than I expected. Another lion. More lions, a lot of lions. That's fine. I think. Huh? How may I help? Hmm? Following your lead. lines hurt especially when they just keep critting over and over again how may I help yeah That's good. Got him. Let's go. Okay. Annoying. I don't know why some fights are so much easier and then some are just like ridiculous. It's very curious. Dead pilgrim. Right. Waves are roughly chiseled on the stone. They grasp on Andra's beloved moon like curling fingers. Yeah? Hey, springberries. Okay. okay so this is the path. Where does this lead to? It would lead me to Adolin Bridge. Okay, so that is where I want to go, but I think I can explore a little bit more. Hopefully when I get to Defiance Bay, I mean, I could camp once maybe before I do. You know, just in case. Totally gonna have to fight something up here, aren't I? No? Uh, 
a wagon. Wine dregs swirl around the bottom of the clay jar. Right of hidden wonders. Ooh, Peridot. Okay. Nice. Huh? Alright, let's head to the bridge. Um, can I just go here? Except. See what happens now. Right, hollow lab construction completed. That is good to hear. I'm gonna assume that I'm like safe now. Let's save. Oh, it saved for me. That's fine. We'll save again. Hi there. Estrand Miriamelis. That's a really cool name. You see a lavishly decorated room, walls hung with tapestries, ornate oil lamps creating a warm, relaxing atmosphere. There are several overstuffed couches covered with silk pillows and an elegant table in the middle of the floor. This woman is seated at the table, sitting across from another woman. They are both well dressed, their style befitting the room they are in. The other woman's hair is blonde, in stark contrast to this woman's black, and is swept up on her head in a dramatic style. The women speak in an easy, free tone, obviously familiar with one another. Though they seem to be comfortable in the other's company, a strange nervousness surrounds the blonde woman's actions. She occasionally betrays herself with a little giggle, or stammer, hitching over an easy word as she speaks. Her demeanor swings from friendly to shy and back again with no warning. This woman leans back a little in her chair, stretching lightly. As she finishes her stretch, she gently lays her hand next to the other woman's hand, letting their fingers subtly intertwine. The second woman stops speaking mid-sentence, inhales sharply, and turns red. She does not, however, move her hand. This woman smiles and moves her hand further over the other, holding it. She then stands, moving around the table toward the blonde woman whose face shows conflicting emotions of terror and lust. She giggles and pulls her hand out from under the other and brings it to her mouth, the red of her face deepening. This woman stops, looking down at her, eyes sparkling. She reaches out and pulls something from the blonde's hair, letting it fall around her shoulders. Then she leans over, uh, brushing her lips lightly against the blonde woman's cheek, resting her mouth against her ear. As she whispers, her hands move lively down the other woman's body to her waist. The blonde shudders and leans into the hand, eyes closing, cheeks cheek pressing against the lips still whispering in her ear. This woman's hand deftly removes a small bag from the other woman's belt and secretes it under her own cloak at the small of her back, and she gently kisses the other woman's cheek and stands again, the smile never leaving her mouth. Wow, she just robbed that. Um, how about you? Cradock Bridgman. This is long. You see a ship being tossed about in a storm-ravaged sea. The swells rise and fall, carrying the ship with them as if it were a toy. This man stands on deck at the helm of the ship, with while water whips around him. The crew moves about frantically, trying to keep the chaos under control. He barks orders at them, pointing where to go and giving each one a task. The men, while still visibly distressed, seem to calm down when they are given their orders. He instructs the helmsman to resume his duties at the wheel and rushes to the aid of a crewman who is struggling with a rope attached to one of the sails. The ship crests a wave, going almost vertical in one direction, and then immediately again in the other. Some of the crew are thrown from their feet, sliding across the deck as the ship rocks. rocks. After the swell passes and the ship returns to a relatively normal orientation, the man quickly scans the deck, counting silently. No one has been lost this time, thankfully. He looks in the direction they're headed, seeing no reprieve from the storm in sight. His jaw squared and his upper lip stiffened. He returns to the helm and takes the wheel again. Good, okay, he's a sailor. That's cool. Domino. 
Zoranzini's Cabbage. That's a cool name. You see a flurry of matted white hair and an incandescent freeze fire staff before you, before you see the man, cold and wild. He chews a wizened apple slowly, discharging spell after spell into the jumble of villagers screeching their way towards him. Cold flame vents from his nose and the apple seeds shoot out the side of his mouth as he saunters forward, ignoring arrows and curses alike. A deliberate twist of his staff, and a bullet of force glides through the torso of one assailant and another. A roar blisters his throat as he launches himself into their midst, tearing into their essence with his staff. A pleading hand reaches toward him and quickly falls, ignored. Silence takes hold as the tattered man gathers his prize, a basket of fresh pears. He hums as he eats. Whoa, that's scary and intense, and let's ignore him. I don't know. Commoner, commoner. Do you have a thing? You're not going to stop walking, so I don't care. Welcome to Defiance Bay, but watch yourself in our city, understand? Understand. Copper Lane it is. Yay, we're in Defiance Bay now. Okay, but I think I'm going to kind of stop here. Defiance Bay. Oh. I'm the not. city at the heart of the Deerwoods Revolution now seems on the brink of another. I completed Act One. Refugees line the streets, homeless and hungry, displaced by Whiteman's legacy, hoping for relief within the city walls, and finding none. Dissidents congregate to protest and to heckle, calling for an end to anamancy and the ouster of their. I'm children. Bot. What are you doing? The city's militiamen cast fearful looks as they patrol the streets, their hands trembling at the hilts of their weapons. The capital of a country that had not long ago incinerated a god now appears to be a spark away from sharing the deity's fate. Interesting. I do kind of want to... I can replay it when I edit this. Hi, Pusheens. <laughs> okay, let me save. Um. Oh, I guess I'm here. Can I? Can. Copper Lane Act 2. But I'm just about to end my stream though. 